Okay, so if you just tuned in, I have not played any chess yet. I'll be playing the first Blitz game. Um, and the goal, as I wait for an opponent, the goal is to hit my peak. Because my Blitz rating peaked at 2693. I'm less than 50 points away. I'm trying to up my spot on the leaderboard. Maybe later I can host like a viewer Blitz tournament. But for now, um, let's try and get in the zone. I'm try and um, stay focused. Might have a Jobava London or one of these. It's like, um, what do we call this? Verisov opening? I think I'll just play like very positionally and solidly. At least, I think that's what the position calls for. Go for C5. Knight E5 is typical. Okay, here I can take with Bishop. And some rook c8, queen e7, maybe bishop e4. I mean, it's roughly equal. No need to do anything too crazy, although I do have to be careful of certain things. Mainly the knights. Uh, sometimes in blitz, knights can be trickier than bishops. I have to be careful of takes and knight c6. Maybe bishop d6. Knight c4 I trade. I'm still hearing fireworks in the distance. Happy July 5th. I guess people have leftovers. Uh, King e7? Yeah, knight c6 could be an issue. I mean, I could take and play rook c3. Some g5 idea. Knight still wants to come to d5 too. Knight d5, just restricting the rook. Yeah, this could be annoying. So what about rook a3? Going after the pawn, rook d4 probably coming. Now, rook d4 is coming next move, or that move, wow. Okay, so I have maybe one option. Hmm. Oh, what to do, what to do. This move. Knight D1 idea. I'm ready to take the pawn. Um, that's a free... Oh, no, that's not free. Uh... I guess we'll trade. This could just be Drosh. Unless I want to... Do I want to try and win? Let's try and win. 92 is now a threat. I'm down a little bit of time, but... There's ideas. Pawns are equal. It's crazy that this is threatening maiden two. Like check and mate is a big threat. Opponent just misses it. <laughs> yeah, the king anywhere the king moves, rook b1 is checkmate. That's a cool mating pattern. It kind of came out of nowhere. I'll take it. Wasn't um I mean it wasn't like clear until until this move. But I guess it was an endgame tactic. Rook and Knight found coordination. This Rook and Knight got sidelined. Thank you, FVM. Happy nine months. So I should note, 
pretty sure I shut everyone, every, not everyone down, but I shut everything down with the channel point requests. Uh, a few days ago, I re-enabled channel point um, redemptions for various things, which we can see here. Oh, there's one run and add a request. Okay, I don't think I fulfilled that, so I'll run a short ad. If you want to sub with Prime or sub normally, you get ad-free viewing. Friendly reminder. Uh, where is that one? Let's fulfill from Hair Haver. Most of the requests are openings. There's actually 24 unfulfilled requests. Uh, the Falcon. Oh yeah, the Falcon. The possum opening doesn't really exist, so I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Benoni, older modern. Can we go in order from like the earliest? Wing Gambit, Exchange French, Budapest. Ready, Spanish, England, Portsmouth. Okay. Oh, Alkine or O'Sullivan again. Okay. All right. So I think throughout my attempt to raise my Blitz rating, I'll try and also play some openings that were suggested by people. Yeah, welcome to more people tuning in. Um... I just played my first game. Wow, look at the graph here. It was like equal the whole game. <laughs> Maybe I was slightly better at certain points. Like out of the opening, it was minus one. I guess this is a unusual setup. It's hard to punish immediately though. Engine saying uh, queen b6, rook b1, knight e4. And the bishop has issues. Because if takes, takes, I'm threatening this to win the bishop, but I'm also threatening to trap the bishop. It's actually kind of beautiful. Wait, f6, what is this line? c3, f6, bishop, f4, g5. Oh, maybe white gets some compensation, but the bishop will be lost. Thank you to Jossie. Subbing for half a year. Modern fortune teller, happy 28 months. Yeah, it was a good choice not uh, not going for the night trade. At some point I thought I was worse, but maybe it was just equal. Okay, so moving on. Um, playing solid quadruple two. So someone wanted like Alakina O'Sullivan, which maybe we'll get. Okay, O'Sullivan Gambit declined. Oh no, my O'Sullivan. This is probably kind of dubious, but if Bishop takes, I do have Queen A5 check. So there's at least one potential trap. Uh, E6. The problem with e6, can white play knight b3? Like, maybe I'll play a5 first. Oh, but that didn't work at all. Okay, now I'll try and win back the pawn. Oh, this is not working. This is not working at all, man. <laughs> Queen a5 doesn't work. Yeah, this is just a terrible opening. I, mean, I already played a bad opening, but then I proceeded to just misplay it. Oh no. Don't hurt me. Well, maybe it will be interesting to see if I can salvage such a position. White well, has monster pawns. I do have a nice bishop, though. And a castled king. This pawn is potentially weak. The problem is after takes, there's going to be a b4 eventually. Although queen takes, I do have uh, knight takes e5. Let's play queen c8. And queen d4 is coming. Okay, here I can take on c5, I think. 
B4, I guess, is coming. Oh, it's not pretty. Maybe like ninety four and f five, and I am up on time somehow. I'm still down two pawns. White well, has two connected outside passers. White's taking a lot of time here. Maybe calculating Greek gift. The thing about the Greek gift, I just go back and then defend h7 with bishop e4. So, still not great. Let's play f5. Pawn chain complements the bishop. Maybe the queen can come and help attack. f3 might be coming. And b oh, b5 actually hangs a pawn. Okay, let's. B5 no longer hangs a pawn. Man. I have F4. F4 seems to give back too much. G5. I really have to just look for ways to make chaos. Maybe I should have played Queen C8, or kept the Queen on C8. Four. I go for G five, G four. Okay, I think this pawn, so maybe provoking the knight to move. F four. For first, so the idea is to win the pawn. It's gonna backfire though. With ninety six, yeah, that didn't work. It feels so bad trading queens. Now this pawn's attacked. Knights, ah, oh, good move. Uh, play this. Move took a while to find, but at least I have knights. A miracle I'm not losing yet. Oh, but now I'm kind of losing, but maybe holding on. Thanks for the great content. Thank you. I didn't lose a rating point. Opponent gained one rating point. Wow. I should turn on my heart rate monitor. I don't know how I survived that. I was like, I was losing after maybe less than 10 moves. Oh, man. Got him. 136. <laughs> okay.
And it goes to show the the reason why you shouldn't resign, even in like very bleak positions. Like, and it looked very bleak, like so many pawns, but just held on for the blockade, kept my knight for a while, and had some some dirty flag potential. Thank you, Swade ZY, and Vinny Chase, welcome back. Alex Werner, I am Avalon. Thanks, everyone. Chasak. Let's go. Oh, hey, it's Brigham. Shout out to Brigham, who I raided the other day, who is so focused on his game, he didn't an, uh, immediately acknowledge the raid. But uh, yeah, everyone should follow Brigham. Actually, a lot of the viewers that came from that raid were originally Hikaru and Danya. Um, it's kind of a raid train. Thank you, T Fox. Happy 14. Okay, I'm very happy to uh, check this off the list. I'm not sure if this person is watching, but if they're not watching, um, I'll have to send them the, the clip of this game. Okay. Thank you, Chessack. So I'm just scrolling through to see the other... Oh, there's a pause thing here. Oh, that's good to know. So if I... What happens if I enable like channel points? Still learning the interface. Ah, so here, this is where I enable things. I'll enable like ask a question. I think for opening request, I'm gonna raise the price to forty, because there's some there's such high demand right now. Limit per stream is ten. That's fine. Okay, save. So people can request openings. It's just gonna cost a few more channel points. And the channel points only are spent once I click the check mark. Yeah, inflation. <laughs> so what did I do wrong in the opening? My opponent like basically played perfectly this game. <laughs> One inaccuracy on move four, but it's still like much better for white. And then Oh, the second inaccuracy on move six. So they played very solidly, just like their username. Huh. Interesting rating disparity there. Okay. Thank you, the green monster. When's that goaded beard coming back? I haven't shaved in like a day. Maybe it's hard to see the beard. The next tournament I'm playing in, I announced it um, yesterday. Yeah, I announced it yesterday. I still should do like a social media post somewhere. But um, I'll be playing in Buell, Switzerland in a couple weeks from now. And maybe I'll grow a beard there. Oh, thank you, Christine HB. Gifting a sub. The thing with um, the tournament in Switzerland, it's only a game a day. So I'm going to have a lot more free time to like rest and prep and do recaps and hopefully shave. So I might not have a beard. What do you shave with? I have one of these um, like razor things. It's, uh, I forget the model. Brawn, maybe? It's Electric Razor. So, uh, let's move on. Um, yeah, I guess I was very fortunate to survive given my opponent played perfectly after, I guess after move six. <laughs> what to do? Okay, moving on. We'll go back in the pool. What 
more can I play? I think this refers to Ponziani, Italian, Kangaroo. Oh, let's try the Kangaroo, which is e6, c4, and then bishop b4 check. Hey, it's a Kangaroo. Okay. Um, I mean, if I play this, it's a Nimzo. I'm trying to figure out how, how to make it unique to the Kangaroo. I guess c5. You can't get this position from any other move order. And maybe takes, maybe d6 here. I guess the benefit is I haven't committed to this move. Huh. Let's take and play e5. So maybe I'll put the knight on e7 and then eventually go for f5. It's like, um, what do you call this? Check Pannoni? But yeah, usually the knight's in the way of the f-pawn. So maybe I could even... I can't play f5 first. Well, e7. Yeah, probably takes knight g6. Thank you, pizza fanatic. Castle. Yeah, so I want to defend so I can bring the other knight in. And white does have a bit more space, but black has very good control over e5. Because there's no white pawn that can attack e5. And if I want to, I can have a lot of supporters, like f6, rook e8. Maybe I should consider bishop g4. Probably not necessary. There's cases where the bishop comes to a6 and pressure c4. Play 95. So there's a line like takes, 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 but then there's no rook f5. Bishop will chill. I'm thinking later rook a e8. But I'm just making small improvements for now. Okay, white well wants to advance, but now I have bishop g4. Maybe I can try and win the pawn. We'll probably see queen. Well, queen f2 loses c4. So I'm not sure what to expect here. Doing well on time. Hmm. Bishop d1. Wait, so if I take, 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 doesn't work. You rookie first. There's a line where like the bishop takes and I take, but then my rook's hanging. So now I can probably go for that. But Pawn takes, and c4 is hanging. Mm. Okay, so I can take maybe knight g5. Gotta be very careful here. But knights are superfluous. Queen h5 I have h6. F7 is well defended now. I didn't want to play f6 to allow knight e6. Okay, so if I take... Maybe... I can't play b5. Maybe rook goes back to f8. over defending and the other rook should come to e8 we might see bishop f4 okay, time wise i'm still good 
G6 almost works. Maybe works, but it's kind of risky. I like F6. Because the pawns control dark squares, knight controls light squares. Um, I'm up a pawn too, so the trades do help. Going for b5. I was basically pre preemptively defending the seventh rank. The vent of rook c7, I don't mind trading. Haven't been here in a while. Hope everything is going well, Mr. Rose. Hey, welcome back, Resilient. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. Oh, you're losing a pawn. Uh, I think it's okay, though. Yeah, things are going well. Um, just trying to convert this endgame. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Had to resort to another dirty flag there. Uh, I was in control and then at some point let things slip a little bit. I was wondering about this endgame. It's probably drawn, though. I didn't want to simplify too quickly. Yeah, the previous game was a lot dirtier. Hey, it's Adfost. Welcome back. 35 months. Adfost, if you want to name an opening, I'll add it to the request list. Imagine either Traxler or Alvin Counter Gambit. Oh, Alvin Counter Gambit is already on the list, I think. Wait. Okay, what opening did I just play? The Kangaroo, right? Yeah, this is a Kangaroo. Oh, Lee Chess calls it the Kangaroo. Um, yeah, the carries defense. If you Google my name along with Kangaroo, you should find images. Yeah, you'll find this photo. It's on Twitter. This is a photo that was taken in Australia in, I think it was 2018. And you look really closely at the position. I zoom in. Yeah, I can zoom in a little bit. You can see, first of all, you can see a, a kangaroo just chilling in the background, having no interest in our chess game. But if you look at the position, you can see the kangaroo defense. D4, C4, and E6, bishop, B4 check. Kangaroo just played this move. And if you look really closely, there's kangaroo food on the board. So that was one way to get the kangaroo to pose for the photo. That may have been my first time playing the kangaroo. As black? Let's see. Hey, I've never played the kangaroo defense before. At least on Lee Chess, and also probably not on chess.com. Yeah, the game got aborted between us we just posed for the photo and then um and then we went to see some different animals there were some emus there was a tasmanian devil that you couldn't really touch because they're actually kind of dangerous there were some wallabies i was like um this was in Adelaide, Australia. It was a Cleland Wildlife Sanctuary. It was a cool place. So let me. Um, oh, we do have Al Albin Counter Gambit. Um, kangaroo. From Greta La P. Okay, mark is complete. Let's continue. 
Traxler Evans. Wait, so can I? Let me try this. So if I redeem a channel point thing, opening request. Did I lock down the opening request? Or no, I changed the value. Wait, what happened? Maybe I have to refresh. Ah, let's enable it. Wait, not email only. Here we go, I have to enable it. There we go. So now if you wanna request openings. And just to give a tutorial, this is how you do it. Opening request, type in the opening, Evans Gambit, enter. Okay, and I'll put it on the list. Okay, going back to the pool. So I've gained a few points this stream. Uh, E4 it is. Okay, I'll play the Wing Gambit, because that's on the list. It's dangerous playing this against a fellow IM without knowing so much theory. D5 is one of the main moves. Okay. Surprising that Black took twice. We go for d4, rookie one first. So now d5. So if I take, assume the knight's going to take, which is maybe OK. I just want a little bit of compensation. If I take. Yeah, am I getting anything here? I guess C4 is maybe coming. Okay, it looks somewhat playable. Bishop E4. This bishop's kind of stuck. Develop the knight. This knight's not defended. Maybe some Greek gift potential in some universe. D5 could be a threat, maybe. D5. Let's play D5. I do allow the diagonal to open for the bishop, but I get some initiative. Hmm. Knight B8. So what if D6? What if knight c4? It's also knight b5. Let's keep pushing the pawn. So it unleashes a bishop, so this bishop's kind of tied down. Play queen a4. That may have been a bad move. Just loss of pawn. Yeah, complete oversight. I mean, the hope was I could take and take, but the queen defends a knight. Uh, what to do? Try something. Hey, it's for Juni. Appreciate the raid. If you're just joining, I have a difficult position. I'm down two pawns, but I'm trying to be tricky. Happy birthday. Uh, oh, thank you. Happy belated birthday to America. Let's play this. Ah, this doesn't work at all. Rooked. I'm going to have to play knight d5. Oh, maybe I can take on a6. 
Okay. Went back a pawn. Oh, there's this move, though. But then maybe this move? Maybe it's still okay. That's terrifying. Wait, I can take? Maybe I'm not dead. I just won back both pawns. I'm down a little bit of time though, and my pieces look funny. I have to play this. Keeping F2. Oh, that's a good move. Okay, be down to exchange. Still some practical chances. This is not good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, these games. These games. I mean, I think I was in a lot of trouble if Black... I mean, Rook C1 was a simple... Oh, actually, Rook C1 a blunder, though. That's funny. I wonder if I would have found Queen B2. But I was so focused on, like, defending... Okay, that was very fortunate. And yeah, the king can't really go back without worrying about knight f6. So that's the third dirty flag tonight. I should really take a shower later. Maybe a long bath. Okay, well, I'm still gaining rating. I just knocked out another opening request, too. The wing gambit from Bali. Requested five days ago. Mark is complete. Oh, Brad asking for Catalan. Okay, that's a solid one. Do! Oh, this person's back. <laughs> Wait, TSH, did you see my first game earlier in the O'Sullivan? Um, it was it was the dirtiest game of the stream. <laughs> oh, you were there. Okay, nice. So, um, let's move on. And just recap a little bit. I've gained 13 points so far. Three wins and one draw. Undefeated the stream.
Okay. So Evan's Gambit. If knight c6, we could play the Portsmouth, but d6. Okay, I'll play knight c3. Playing a strong player. Play g3. We'll see how much they know here. It's a tricky line if black's not prepared. Queen d6 is the best move, though. Queen e6, wow. Okay. I have to play... Mm. It's actually very tricky. There, there, there. I have to allow knight e3. That's not pretty. I'm a little bit surprised Black didn't go for knight b4. Hey, it's Nate Brady. What's up, Nate Brady? Hope you had a good stream. If you're just joining, I'm having actually a difficult opening battle here. I'm a pretty high rated Blitz player. Yeah, white's probably a little bit worse here. Going for g4. I'm just trying to keep things defended. I didn't want C4 to happen, but B5, C4 is maybe still coming. Yeah. I'm losing a pawn. I've taken Bishop B2. Doesn't go for it, but it's still hard to deal with. Maybe it's not so bad though, because I have rook a1 in the end. Great content. Oh, thank you, free Hoosier. So Black does go for it. There is b4. Now the bishop's a bit stuck. F4. A five idea. Bishop d5 is one goal. f6 as well. Bishop b7 as well. If I play f6, let's hold off for now. Hmm. Oh, didn't see that move. It's still interesting.
That's like the fourth, the fourth dirty flag tonight. <laughs> I still haven't lost a game. Hey, it's Pablo. How's it going? Thanks for stopping it. Uh, I mean, every dirty flag, I think my heart rate will like spike over 130. I mean, this game seems to be going very well, and then... I completely forgot that the bishop could just take on f6. I really wanted to take here and check, but I don't think it leads to anything. Was there any any win? So white's not like clearly winning. Knight h5 is a nice move. Let's look at the graph. Okay, one moment. Oh, here I miss maiden one. Oops. Ah. <laughs> uh. I think I realized it too. Like that's why I moved back to get in rook f7. Yeah, this will call for at least two showers, maybe four showers. What to do? Okay, let's uh, as long as I keep winning, I'll keep playing, I guess. Um, my peak is, is now about 30 points away, 28 points away. Okay. I just want to focus on playing like at a decent level. Oh, playing mysterious expert. We go way back. The first time we played was like 2017. I first started streaming. Trying to remember his repertoire. I think we played recently in Title Tuesday. Good luck to my opponent. Over a hundred points higher rated than me. Okay, we have some Kings Indian, etc. Knight d7, e5. Yeah, this can be a tricky line. Objectively, it's better for white, but it's tricky. It gets very sharp. I've lost so many games in this line where the engine will say like plus two, but black gets a lot, a lot of counterplay. So I have to be careful. It should be six, I think I take again. If it takes, I, I probably don't want to take back. Like, Probably happy just being up a pawn and defend my queen side. Maybe f3. Okay, I probably want to take now and take. Now the difference is I'm threatening to take with check. So even rook to e8, I get a tempo and then the queen can help defend. 
Ideally, I want to play this and this. Hey, it's Kavita. Hi, Eric. How was your July 4th? It was good. I streamed Title Tuesday. Had some very, um, very American openings. At least after Title Tuesday, I was sharing some American openings. Okay, so Rook here. Rook, Rook D8 could be a threat. Let's start with King B1. Yeah, black definitely has counterplay. Knight c1. Idea knight b3. It's a counterattack. Ah, oh, there is. Man. I realized it after I moved. Maybe it's not so bad. I have knight c5. This knight's almost trapped. Maybe knight a4 coming. It's getting tricky. Okay, so I'm still threatening to take. These knights are kind of, I mean, they defend each other, which is good. They're kind of awkward, too. And this is a big threat. e5 blocks a bishop, which would be nice. All right, so bishop g5. Still want to play this move. Have to worry about this, though. Hmm. If I play... Rook d2. Uh, now I don't. Okay, I think I have to take. E5. Super tricky. Such a risky move. Down in time. That's not good. Ah, that's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> okay, good game. I was trying to be safe, and then something, something bad happened. Black's tactics begin or began to flow. Like after e five, it looked okay, but then knight d four gave a lot of initiative. Oh no, my Eric. It's actually crazy. Like, oh wait, rook d four is not the best move. Rook d2. Did I consider rook d2? 
I think I like briefly considered it, but I didn't like rook d8. I guess. Wait a minute. Ah, because the knight's no longer defended. So after here, I was scared of takes, 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 but then I just take the knight. Okay. Oh, question from Josai O. Oh. I see people are answering. You could probably trust the answers from from chat. Although Amazon, not sure about chess sets on Amazon. But House of Stone is a good brand, which maybe that you can find on Amazon. I actually like the um the Botez set. Like the um the Botez sisters have branded merch and they sent me their set. And that's actually like very good quality. And nice weighted pieces. Instead of rookie four, queen a six. Oh yeah, that's what we were just looking or no. No, what I don't think rookie four was ever played. Yeah, this opening I've had. I guess I've had this position five times before. And Bishop c4 is a top move. Engine loves white, but practically it's still it's still tricky with the offset side castling. And all of this was good. Uh, bishop, yeah, bishop e3 is just a little bit um, more solid. Okay, we move on. Still trying to gain a little bit of rating. Maybe I should... Oh, I can't really play an opening request against this, so... Most of the requests were like white openings or um don't think there were any against the ready. All right, so I'll play something solid. White's also playing something very solid. Double fiend Kado. Um play C5. Yeah, sometimes against this sort of thing you just do your own thing. And the battle will happen later. Some pawn tension. Oh, am I blundering? I could take with pawn. I think I have to take with pawn. I wanted to take with bishop, but a6 would hang. So now I have the so-called hanging pawns. Yeah, white's probably a little bit better here. All right, now the fate. Defending d5. Some c4 idea. Even d4 is maybe possible. e4 takes, takes. It looks very anti-positional, but I don't see anything concretely wrong with it. So after takes, takes, the queen defends the bishop, and like we can trade a lot. Rooks can come off the board. In this line, I was thinking... Uh, I can check and then regain the pawn. If I defend the bishop, I have to take. Oh, I'm still losing the pawn. Or am I? Bishop here? Doesn't work, though. Yeah, I'm going to be down a pawn. 
White played well. Done a lot of time to cameo in my D and D campaign plaza. Wait, what? I really don't have too much knowledge about D and D. I've heard of cameo though. I don't have a cameo profile, but maybe I don't need one to make a cameo. You might want to uh, elaborate there. <laughs> All right, I got to focus. This is so low on time. Uh, geez. I guess F5. I'm giving the square, but what to do? Probably have to take... One, yeah, I want the pawn on g4. Rook should come to c6. So at least the pawns are fixed on dark squares. It's slightly annoying. It seems crazy to offer the rook trade and like go into this ending down a pawn, but there's some chance of drawing. Very small chance, though. Yeah, White's king is so active. Yeah, it's losing. I'm still trying something though. Thanks for being awesome. Oh, thank quack, you. Quack. No dirty flag in this game either. Okay, I resign. White played well. What to do? Um, I got like a worse structure and then lost a pawn and then we traded rooks. I was trying to like a counterplay, but was not enough. Um, the issue probably stemmed from like earlier. The opponent played a very clean game. Opening was solid until, yeah, rook d8 may have been careless. It does make sense to, maybe what I could do is like give white the potentially hanging pawns. Okay. Oh, thank you, David. Happy 18 months. Okay, um, I'll keep going. I still feel like decent about my form. Not too fatigued. It's dinner time, baby. When you first started streaming, did you ever take long breaks between streams or were you pretty consistent between from streams. the get-go? Currently struggling to stream consistently. I would go through patches. There's a site where you can see like my whole history of, of every day I streamed. Um, honestly, I forget exactly what my schedule was. I don't think I had a set schedule. Maybe on average, I would stream like two to five times a week. Okay, we have this sign. And even like these days, I'm, I still probably average 
um, a handful of times per week. Very rarely do I stream like, can, like super consistently, like every day. Although the last few days I've been streaming a bit more consistently. I mean, for me, a big part of streaming is I stream because I want to stream. Like it's fun for me. So I don't really like force myself to stream if I don't want to. Like if I if I'm feeling like low energy, I'll just take a day off. And there's times where I'll take like a week off if if I feel like I need it. Um, all right, let's take. Still an opening theory. Shouldn't be taking too much time. Um, play this in knight d4. Yeah, sometimes if I take time off streaming, then I'll put my energy into other other areas, like YouTube or different projects. It's good to have some balance or just like physical health and trying to just have a healthy lifestyle. Play Bishop G5. I'm trying to apply pressure here. Not super simple. Yeah, G5, I think, is too weakening for black. I think like Queen C2 and Rook AD1. And long term, it's this pawn I want to try and exploit. Bishop h2. And there's some idea 92 to f4. I'll have to watch out for sacks. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's too late now. I have two I have to take. And maybe it's not so bad. Knight d4. Wait, knight d4. Maybe knight g1. That's rook and two pawns for knight and bishop. A reasonable move. C4. A bit passive. After the pawn. Ah, 
seems careless. Ah, uh, I tried. <laughs> what to do? I don't know if I ever like had chances to even be equal. Like black has a lot of pawns. Like generally, the bishops are happy in like open positions. But in that case, black just has too many pawns. Of course, yeah, bishop b five was just a blunder. Um, or better ways to fight. Okay, not perfect by any means. It's amazing I can make so many mistakes and still have over 90% accuracy. But I think it's determined by, like, sent upon loss. Maybe. Maybe a little bit better at some point. Oh yeah, so this was all very critical. Best move knight f4. I was about to play knight d4 and just blunder bishop takes d4. Okay. Is there another I am not a GM? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's been no announcement that I know of. They've done it for the last, what, four years? I won it last year, so be cool if there's a chance to defend my title, but I mean, they announced Pog Champs, so there's, I guess there's some events that kind of happen and then don't happen for a while and happen again. So, I mean, let's try and recover. Uh, I was doing better when I was playing like random opening requests. Anything against the... Uh, Against e4. Oh, Traxler. Okay. Someone wants a Traxler. This might be risky. Knight g5, bishop c5. Not happening. <laughs> okay. It's a6, bishop a7. More strategic Italian. This is a move. Taken 96. I usually don't play these like very symmetrical positions. D4 makes a ton of sense. Actually, knight to you is a, probably just a very bad move. Um, maybe I can take, no. Yeah, I need to do some damage control. I guess I'll take, take and put the knight back. White has more space. So I'm attacking a pawn. Attacking another pawn. B5 might be coming. 
or not. So what if d5? d5, e5. Maybe rook e7? b5 is still coming, though. I want to maneuver to g6. The knight's just happy on the king's side. It's slightly annoying. G5. I can take. D five, E five. This first really got to watch time. So white wants to play this maneuver, but the knight's currently tied down. So my idea, queen c2. Super risky. G three is coming. Oh, that's defended. I have ninety two. So I have rook G too long time. Oh, what to do? It's got way too low. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's like close to winning at some point there. But what to do with the time? It's, yeah, objectively it's drawn, but I can't easily force perpetual g3, but <laughs> yeah, then I just got mated. Playing some strong players. This game, I was, I think I was just worse after, yeah, knight t8 was not a good move. I saw this idea like somewhere in some Italian, but this is not the position to do it. 97 is a bit more natural. But 97, what if d4? It's still conceding the center. Then at least a knight finds a, a new square. Okay. Should we play tennis? I'm down to play tennis. Actually, I haven't played tennis in like over a week or two or three. I'm, I've am i been going through tennis withdrawals. Hopefully the weather is good coming up. 
Send me a message, Axe or Typo. Okay, I've lost... I started the stream, like, not losing a game. I lost a few in a row. I'm down one rating point. Let's try and recover. A regain focus. Playing Kapik. Oh, Kapik, I think, is a, a strong duck chess player. If it's the same person. E6. Let's play C4. Okay, we'll have uh, Sicilian Khan, Hedgehog. Might be three. Yeah, I have to be careful here. So queen d3. Some ideas to put the queen on g3. Bishop f4. Trying to understand what's going on here. Let's start with this. e5, bishop d2. Knight e5. Okay, I can't move my rook. Play rook c1. And try and prepare the c5 move. Attacking b7. c5. Still isn't working, but I think now I'm preparing it. Hmm. Knight should redevelop. Okay, so I'm blocking the bishop. I feel like this is a big accomplishment. Because I want to play f3, kick the knight. And then bishop e3. Now I've achieved some nice harmony. Now the rook's no longer tied down. Everything's defended. B7 is kind of hanging. To take. It does look risky, but I'm going for it. Take on. It doesn't work. Oh. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to lose another game. What to do? I'll try and fight. I'm down a piece. I'm threatening almost forced mate, actually. A good move.
Trying to be tricky. That wasn't tricky. Ah, oh, the spite check, what to do? Okay, if I lose one more game, I'm switching to Scrabble. Thanks for the raid, Scrabble. Hey, Eric. Okay. Did the ability to play chess blindfolded come naturally, or did you have to be taught? Um. I mean, it came naturally given the fact I spent thousands of hours playing and studying chess. Not specifically, like, playing and studying or, like, training blindfold chess. But I would say, yeah, for most people who spend like thousands or tens of thousands of hours um, like devoting themselves to chess, eventually the board becomes kind of ingrained in your mind. But it's not something I've like specifically trained over the years. Thanks for the question. Oh, thank you, Matman. Gifting to Ayrton Twig and... Oh, and Zefcat. Shout out to Zefcat. Not sure if Zefcat is here. But it's a fellow streamer. Okay. I can't end, end my chess playing session with so many losses. But again, if I lose, I'm I'm quitting chess and switching to Scrabble. So... Playing modern physics, uh, the only way to untilt is to get maybe a Stafford Gambit, or maybe not. Oh, can we get a Traxler? No, we have an Italian again. Okay, I'll play this line. Oh, we have the same line as earlier. Let's see if I learned my lesson from earlier. Uh, this should be six. So this time I'll play 97 a bit sooner. Queen b3, d5. I think is okay. Defend the pawn. Rookie one or queen d6. Maybe queen d6. Ooh. A lot of central tension. This move could be scary. That move is also kind of scary. Have this move. I feel like I'm riding a very thin line here. I do have the c4 square now for a knight. Ooh. So queen c4. I still attacked. In B six. I think it's just a bit worse for black. But maybe playable. What to do, rook c8. Ugly move, but here, here. Oh, I think we're getting very close to Scrabble. h6.
Maybe some people are happy about that. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, this pawn is a goner. Let's take some activity. This move. Yeah, this move. Ah, there's this move. Opponent misses it. Still a really bad position. Okay, what if I get both rooks to the second? Like rook a2, I should not lose. I want to try and win? I think I just... I think I just bail out. This, I think, is going to be a draw. Just making sure I'm not missing any like weird checks. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I think my opponent was expecting this and just play king f1 instinctively. So I'll take that. <laughs> Okay, I was getting crushed. Scrabble will have to wait. I mean, White did find the one way to avoid a draw from this position. I was just getting crushed. I think knight b6 was White's best chance to just put me away. Like here. Wait, why is this? It's not a top five move. Wow, rookie eight. Oh, that's very nifty. And then there's some counterplay. Because then after it takes, takes, I'm threatening the knight and mate. And then here, yeah, already after rook eight, it's not so bad. Despite white's dominance. Okay, let's keep going. Playing sneaky monkey. What opening should I go for? Evans Gambit, Ponziani, Exchange French. All right, I'll play e4. Are you a Scrabble master? Uh, not yet. But there's at least one Scrabble master in chat. Exclam Josh. Okay, we have um. What is this? This is actually a main line. Castle, bishop c5, rook d1, bishop d4 is a line. Rook d1 still? Wait. I think the line is e5. So now I'm threatening this. F4. This resembles some French, but uh, it also resembles a Karo Khan, which it is. Play this. Rook d1. Queen b6 is coming. Just play king h2. I can't even take. Moving way too slowly, too. There, there, there. Try this. Try. Oh, really mishandling this. Queen B6 is still coming. Queen B6, I actually have knight D5. Go, Eric, go. 
I'm trying. I'm feeling the fatigue, though. It's been a lot of chess. Thank you, Bitcoin boy. So, yeah, I'm losing a pawn here. F5 is maybe a move. Oh, queen g5. Idea queen e7 in some lines. Just shut off. Okay, I forgot this rook's not defended, but there's no tactics. Takes or takes, I take back with rook. I think I just have to go all out on the king side. Queen h6 and... Maybe g4, maybe rook lift. f5. If f pawn moves, I win g6. Black has everything covered, though. I missed that five. Saw it right after I moved to. This is maybe a move. So I defend and I attack. It's a double discovery. And I'm threatening F6 as well. So there's three main purposes with F5. Queen d1 is not threatening mate. Queen d1, f6, queen h1, king g3. There's no more checks. What does black do? How sneaky is sneaky monkey? I think it's just winning for white. Like there's one check. What a position. Let's get some confetti. Wow. I was down so much time. The lock's just getting mated. Or it goes on a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, let's just go back. No need to take the rook. Okay. Oh. I really should have lost that. The universe wants me to hold off on Scrabble for the time being. I think I just didn't understand what to do in the middle game. Hey, thank you, one true Maddie, first time prime. Oh, maybe e5 is just not a good move. I've had this position twice. I wasn't sure about... Yeah, so d4 takes... I've never seen this before. Queen e3. So not regaining the pawn because we have to defend d4. But then we take on e4 next. That's interesting. Keep that idea in mind. Oh, I have not played the Falcon yet. Maybe I'll try the Falcon at some point. <laughs> oh, thanks for the comment, One True Maddie. Says thank you for the instructional content on YouTube. Appreciate that. 
Okay, um, let's move on. So if I lose a game, I, I quit chess and switch to Scrabble. But I'm two in a row now. Yeah, this quest of 2700 is, it's a rocky one. You're playing a higher rated player. Okay. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna follow any opening requests. I, I wanna play my main stuff. I actually like this line. This is a tricky line in London. D5 is kind of a threat. This is the best line for black. Knight d5. Pawn d5, I think I just castle. Queen e2. Just be careful here. Bishop g3 first. Maybe this is okay. Knight should really be on e2. We might see takes in knight b4. Even then it shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, like rook d1. So I got some knights. Pawn should be on c3. This knight should be somewhere on the king side. Start with f3. Defending these pawns. Ooh. This is kind of some trouble. I G four. Have to trade. Don't have to trade, but at least we get some end game. C three. I'm gonna take on E six eventually. I think you want a towel. Another prime sub. All right, try and focus here. 4 is coming very quickly.
That's a little bit worse for white. Trying to hold on though. B3. Knight's restricted by all the pawns. They're actually kind of beautiful. This is not beautiful. Any chance. Oh, wow. That's mate. I thought I was being tricky with this move. Ah, it's time for Scrabble now. Oh, good game. Okay. <laughs> uh, what a game. I had my chances too. If I don't allow maiden one, like maybe h6, maybe this move had to be a little bit more aware. Why is your username Eric Rosen? I'm not sure. I just kind of chose a random string of characters and ended on that. Anyway, um, okay, I'll switch gears. I'll play one Scrabble game, maybe two if it goes well. Scrabble. I've, okay, I've quit chess <laughs> is my new stream title. And the category will be Scrabble. Scrabble.